Hello and welcome to Imperfect in an Uncertain World, resources for living with authenticity and purpose. I'm going to ask you a question. Why run when you can walk? I know it sounds counterintuitive, but let's talk. Now, you heard that right. Why run when you can walk? Sometimes we get in such a hurry where we're going that we miss the treasures within each moment. So really, why run when you can walk? You know, it seems like this life is all about hurry, 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 rush, rush, rush. But inevitably, we miss, miss, miss. Sometimes I get in such a big hurry to get there that I miss what's happening in the moment. And maybe you do too. I know that there are some great arguments for running. The wind in our hair, the freedom we feel, the endorphins that we get. But there are also some really great benefits to walking. A time to be, a time to see. Time to mindfully engage in the moment. Now, last Saturday, I went for a walk. And I, as I felt my feet, ro feet rolling heel to toe, I noticed so many other things. The sun was shining down, um, and I shed my jacket. As I negotiated the cracks in the uneven pavement, I noticed the spring smiling up at me, which I guess was appropriate because last Saturday was the first day of spring. So for me, one of the first signs of spring is the lush purple ground cover of Heal All. These flowers explode in a purple color, really in the wasteland areas around us. And I heard their voices floating in the breeze saying, you made it through another winter. Spring is here. Let nude beginnings bring healing grace. And I smiled. I looked at those not so small patches of flowers growing over the unevenness of the land and rooted deeply in the soil it provided healing after the sleet the snow the rain that we had had not even a month ago and for me it said the heal all is really providing a place for the water to be absorbed and distributed where it is much needed so instead of it just sliding off onto the pavement and sitting, it can really go into the land to nurture the growing roots. The healing power of compassion is really like that heal all. It shows up after a long, hard winter of suffering, like those bright purple flowers that bring smiles of joy and guide us back to ourself. Compassion doesn't gloss over what has happened, but it invites us into the beauty of the moment. It helps us breathe into our unevenness, the cracks of our being. Compassion invites us to heal all, our, those things in our life that have been worn and cracked by suffering. But let's go back to walking instead of running. That heal all is a great example of what I like about walking. I notice the little things that invite me into the moment. My intuitive awareness is flipped on, and I absorb the many messages that come to me in each and every moment. Now, when I walk, I choose the speed, slow meditative, a meandering, a jog, speed walking, or maybe it's somewhere in between those. But whatever I choose, I walk at a speed knowing that the journey is a glorious step-by-step -step movement um, to a myriad of destinations made more relevant through listening to the intuitive messages in the moment. And maybe you'll find that if you decide to walk instead of run. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you want additional resources, check out VanessaFHurst.com. If you need a little additional help, contact me as a contemplative coach. I work with you to strengthen your, your core. 
And that is your spiritual, your intuitive, and your personal core so that you can really live in the moment every moment. Again, thank you for watching my video and I will catch you soon. Namaste.